The Pitts is undeniably one of the best looking biplanes that's known to mankind. When this thing is in the air, it just pops. I mean, look at that bright red and white, two wings, and it's just got a really good stance. It's known to fly really well, whether you're flying the tiny little UMX 3S, it's called a 1S Pitts, but it's a 3S little airplane. That thing flies extremely well. And then all the way up to this 6S version. We'll be flying on a 4,000 milliamp battery today, and it's just been a while since I've flown this plane. I will be honest with you too. FMS has been a generally good brand. Recently, I would say more on the exceptional side of some of their aircraft. And in my opinion, if we go back in time to when this was actually released, it was probably one of, if not their best airplane, especially prop driven. Since the release of this, they've made leaps and bounds to make even bigger improvements in their aviation lineup but I've got to say that this was probably their flagship and still could be as far as prop planes go. I know it's been out for at least a couple years or so, but it absolutely deserves the attention of another flight today. I just love, I love that red and white. It pops so good. So let's put it in the air and have some fun. You wanna talk about an airplane that's got like tons of room inside, even the battery tray slides out. Good on them for just making it excessively large. I could live in that if I needed to. Beautiful airplane, right? Right. So the last time I flew this was back when I didn't believe in Expo. So what I just did after I plugged in that battery was add some Expo to this. A good amount too. I went 25% aileron, 25% elevator, and 20% on the rudder. Uh, I've, I've generally not cranked it up much higher than that. So you guys let me know how high do you put your expo on certain things? Let's, let's talk about that in the comments. Maybe we can all learn something. It just started to veer off. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say that was straight up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're just having fun. It's been a while <laughs> since I've flown this. Got a pretty plane. Big airplane, very powerful lot of rudder authority it just flies really well for a biplane like a kind of a clunky looking biplane. oh no my canopy my canopy why is that popping up <laughs> wow wow can you land it yeah i'm gonna land it thought i heard something go click look at that look at that it's just barely hanging on there it goes there it goes that's fine that's fine <laughs> that's fine don't hit that on your landing how in the world did that happen i that don't know never happened on this airplane before huh? never i wow. thought i heard a click and then you Man. said that Okay. Wow. Okay, let's see why that happened. <laughs> what happened? I don't know yet. Looks fine. My guess is I didn't make sure that was clicked in all the way. So there. That's probably what happened. It was just not. Whoopsie. That's the second canopy I've I lost. I know what's going on <laughs> with you. <laughs> All right, Nate, the canopy loser. That, well, I don't like that much. <laughs> the canopy loser. Really. What do you say about straight up? <laughs> there you go. That's full throttle. Pretty airplane. Man. Pretty oh yeah, airplane. I love filming this one. They should be rock solid now, I would hope. The knife edge, the knife edge on this pits. Oh, love it. Yeah. Oh, and it holds it well. It doesn't need much rudder. And thank goodness that you can pull that off so easily just because the top of that wing, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's what we like on this plane. Rudder over. A nice loop out here. The only thing it needs is smoke. I mean, you can't really fly a big pits without smoke, right? In the electric world, it doesn't really exist, but there's so much extra room in this airplane. If there was a smoke system, it could fit easily. There have been attempts by some people to make like talcum powder or baby powder to come out of it, but it only lasts for like 20 seconds. So you're only getting like one loop out of it. So, you know, <clears throat> it'd be great if someone could make, I've always said, and I don't care to put my idea out there publicly for everybody to take, I think that an e-cigarette kind of thing, you know, those are very, very popular. Um, 
You could make a larger version of that that ran off of a lipo and just had a really big tank in there and that I believe would look pretty good. And if someone invents that and makes it and they make a million bucks off of it, just send me a couple of them, please. That's really all I ask because I think it'd be super cool. There's that knife edge. Yeah, beautiful. Right over the hill on a blue sky in the winter. Not officially winter yet, but man, it's cold. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll kick it out of that so it don't fly over our heads. <clears throat> Rolls nice. It's just that pretty airplane and you can fly this one a little bit on the wild side and it's still scale. So to those guys that don't like, you know, keeping it, they want to keep it scale. This is a show plane. You can really fly it and keep it scale. And even if you're flying this thing far away, it still looks good just because it's bright red and contrasting bright white and it pops so well. That's about a half throttle, half rudder knife edge, somewhere around there, maybe 60% throttle or so. <clears throat> up, 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 up. I don't know how much time we're gonna put on this, maybe about four minutes or so. Be a little careful with my flight time. What do you think? You glad I got the pits out to fly it today? Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite planes you own because it just looks so good. Now that I say that, let's not jinx it. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> okay, where are we at on our time? Yeah, we got about 30 more seconds. One thing I like about FMS is they make good looking planes. Very good looking planes. Agreed. Maybe let's bring it around for a landing right to left because we've got some wind now. Pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Just pretty. Just pretty, pretty, pretty. It's not really too hard to fly. Uh, you know, it's a little bit, maybe you could say kind of like top heavy feeling occasionally. It's, it's hard to describe, but there's some weight to it. But then again, it also floats really well. I mean, we're coming in pretty slow here, you can see. But I like to land this with just a little bit of speed. Uh, that, that last landing I had was so much better than that one. Do I have enough juice to redeem it? I would say yes. We're gonna try one more time. We're just gonna take it easy though, nothing crazy. Keep the throttle fairly low. We just wanna get it back to the other side of the airfield for another landing and we'll, we'll do a voltage check at the end here too because that's a 4,000 milliamp and <clears throat> I'm curious to know where we're at because I'm not flying with any kind of telemetry or feedback on this setup. Man, still got a little skip. But that was definitely better. I think we can all agree that was significantly better but the one without the canopy was the best landing. It was butter compared to that. Not landing. That's okay though. We got to fly the pits today. I'm really happy on such a beautiful day. Had a little mishap. What would RC be without the occasional mishap? <laughs> Stress free. <laughs> <laughs> Battery's not warm at all. I'll bet we're, I'm guessing we'll be at like 3.95 volts on that. Let's see. Oh man, am I good? <laughs> That's what you're at? Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, well, three By the temperature. <laughs> You know you fly too much when <laughs> it's it's 3.9 because it's settling down okay. some since i just pulled it but if i check that again in five minutes we'd be at 3.9 maybe closer to 3.8 volts per cell <laughs> am i a nerd or what <laughs> nerd. i don't care i'm a happy nerd i got to fly my plane today and for that i am very grateful you guys i'm grateful to god for the opportunity to get in front of the camera and share these kind of experiences with you and I just, I just ask that if you, if something like this catches your eye, please do us a favor and check it out using the link, okay? There's, there's links in our description box and in our comments section, usually pinned to the top. And what those do for us is gives us a very small amount of commission if you buy anything through those links. It doesn't cost you a single extra penny. The whole system is in place because, you know, you watch the video for either entertainment or maybe somewhat educational purposes and then you make a decision on what you want to buy 
And if you do so, it, whether it's this or anything else on the website, you can click that link and buy your thing. We'll make a little bit of commission. It doesn't cost you a single extra penny, and it just helps to support our channel and our family, helps fuel the channel and keep us going. We thank you. Finally, before we get back in the warm of the uh, heat of the car, I wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters for literally putting fuel in the tank to get us here to make these videos, to buy the camera equipment, to keep us going. It really is a full circle here, guys. If we didn't have your support, you know, we'd still jump out and make videos, but it certainly wouldn't be as often as we do, or it's not maybe the best quality in the world, but it's better than just like a cell phone or a GoPro or something. And it's because of our Patreon support that we are able to do that. We thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. If you enjoyed this video, we'll have another awesome hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.